fuck are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my uprated ranking of all 11 movies in the DCEU with the newest movie, The Suicide Squad. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get going. There's 11 movies to rank, so, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get going. Coming in at number 11 is... Joss Whedon's Justice League from 2017. Uh, personally, I don't really consider this one canon anymore. I probably won't ever watch it when I do watch the DCEU movies anymore, but uh, Warner Brothers still considers it canon because they're proud of their trash. Um, so, uh, I, I'm including it on here, but I don't really care for this movie anymore. Uh, when it first came out, I thought it was a fun movie and everything. I really enjoyed it quite a bit. And, uh, it has its moments. There are some fun moments in this version, but uh, it's definitely not as good as the the new version that we got earlier this year. It was Zack Snyder's actual vision and stuff. This movie was two different directors with completely different visions and hacked by a studio. So this version just is not very great and it has some really terrible CGI that looked really bad when it first came out and it's even worse now uh, it just it's really not a very good movie and everything so Justice League is number 11 and number 10 is Suicide Squad from 2016 uh, this one I, I kind of have mixed feelings on there's a lot of things I like about it like I love Harley and Deadshot and I, I like uh, Rick Flag and some of the other characters in here and I, I even think Jared Leto's Joker was, was fine and everything. He was pretty decent and a lot better than people give him credit for. He didn't really get enough screen time to really make a big impact though. Uh, so uh, uh, I don't really like his design but I didn't mind him. I thought he was fine as a Joker. Um, but the the, the movie is pretty flawed though it has a lot of really bad writing and editing and the the CGI is horrendous and stuff and especially at the end of it the villain is one of the weakest villains in the DCEU which uh, I think out of all the main villains and everything this is one of the worst aside from maybe Stephen Wolf and the J Joss Whedon version of Justice League uh, and it's just, it's an okay movie. It has some fun moments, but it's definitely not a good movie, if that makes sense. Or, like, there, there are some fun moments just where the characters are interacting and stuff, and it does have a couple little emotional moments and stuff, but it just isn't that great. So, Suicide Squad is number 10, and number 9 is Wonder Woman 1984. Um... I really enjoyed this movie quite a bit. It, it's definitely not as good as the first one, but it still has a lot of fun moments and stuff. Especially that scene in the mall. I always love that scene and the scene when they're do, uh, fighting on the trucks and stuff. Kind of reminiscent of Raiders of the Lost Ark. I, I love that scene as well and everything. And it has some really emotional moments. Gal Gadot gives a really great performance in this movie. and. She don't really get a lot of credit for her performance in here, but she she did a really great job in everything. It seems where she had to be emotional and everything, and it it was sad and everything. So it, I I think it did its job. It it could have been better, could have been a lot worse. I don't think it's near as bad as some people say it is, but I don't think it's as good as it could have been either. If that makes sense, it's just one of those movies that I really enjoyed it, but I it could have been a lot better than it was. So, uh, Wonder Woman 1984 is number 9, and number 8 is Aquaman from 2018. Uh, I, I really enjoy this movie. It has a lot of really fun moments, especially like the little adventure aspect of it when they have to go to Africa and stuff like that. I, I love like 
that f the feel of it of the adventure setting and stuff and uh, this the visual effects in here are amazing like uh, I'm one that always talks about how bad CGI is a lot of times but this movie has some of the best CGI and 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 movie and anything recently uh, and especially superhero movies like this has some of the best looking CGI it didn't really it, it worked really well and the cast and here are all amazing uh, for the most part, especially Jason Momoa as Aquaman, he's great, and I, I loved uh, Nicole Kidman as his mom, and uh, especially Willem Dafoe, he just is a great actor and everything, I loved his character, Valco, and uh, uh, I think that Patrick Wilson's character was a good villain, I for some reason cannot remember his name, but he was really good as the villain of the movie, and I really like Aquaman and everything. It's a really fun movie. So, Aquaman is number eight, and number seven is Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Uh, I really didn't like this movie very much when it first came out, and I saw it for the first time. I was really highly disappointed in it, but. Every time I rewatch it, I like it a little bit more, and I think it's a fun movie. Um, uh, Margot Robbie is once again giving Harley Quinn her all, and since this is Harley's movie, of course she she really gets her time to shine in this movie. But she stole the show in Suicide Squad, and is is really great in this one. Uh, and I, I love the story. I, I wish we would have just gotten more with some of the characters in here. Uh, they were kind of underdeveloped and stuff and the movie shouldn't have been called Birds of Prey because the Birds of Prey characters aren't even really the main characters it's mostly Harley Quinn it should have just been called Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey or something like that but uh, I really enjoyed this movie I think it's fun it's got a lot of good humor in here great action and Ewan McGregor is the villain and this movie was absolutely uh, perfect uh, I really loved him as, uh, as the, the villain in this. He's really over the top, but you can tell he's having a blast playing the character, and it just it works perfectly for this movie. So uh, I do feel like his death was kind of anticlimactic, though, and everything. And the the way the movie ended could have been done a little bit better. It kind of felt a little rushed, but. All in all, I think Birds of Prey is a pretty fun movie, so it's number seven. And number six is Wonder Woman. Uh, this one, when it first came out, I thought it was really overrated, stuff overhyped, but every time I rewatch it and stuff, I like it a little bit more, and it's really grown on me. It's a really fun movie. Gal Gadot is just absolutely perfect in the role of. Wonder Woman and Chris Pine is amazing as Steve Trevor. They have really great chemistry in this, which they do still have good chemistry in the second one, but it's not as strong as it is in this one for some reason. But uh, I do really uh, love their dynamic in this movie, and I think the villain was pretty decent, and it it was a a pretty good movie. Um, it, it it's really nice looking has really great cinematography and stuff and, and just really good action scenes especially the no man's land scene one of the best scenes in in the entire dcu and uh wonder woman is just an awesome character and i i love this movie so it's number six and number five is man of steel um i absolutely love this movie i think it's a, a total blast from start to finish it's a really good character driven story about Superman I love how like he uh, movie focuses more on how Clark is trying to to hide his powers and stuff from the world and stuff because they don't feel the world's ready for someone like him and everything and I love like like the more darker and serious tone this movie has compared to other Superman movies that like 
they needed to do something different with the Superman name if they were going to make a new one and make it work and everything. And I think they did a really great job with it. It was a huge step up from the last Superman movie. We got uh, Superman Returns. But um, I, I really love this movie. I feel like it, it doesn't get the credit it deserves. It's just a really fun movie. It was a great way to kick off the DCEU and everything. And it just... Uh, really entertaining and uh, Zod is still one of the best villains in the DCEU for sure and everything so Man of Steel is number five and number four is The Suicide Squad the newest movie in the DCEU and this could move up or down since I've only seen it once but at least for right now I think it it's right where it needs to be. I, I really had a blast with this movie, and I wasn't even looking forward to it, really. Uh, by the time it it came out and stuff, I was, wasn't even really that hyped for it for some reason. But we finally got it, and it, it was just a blast from start to finish. James Gunn really did a great job with this movie, just like he did it with Guardians of the Galaxy. He, he knew what he was doing, and... Uh, the studio actually not having their heads up his butt and stuff I think really helped too and everything and it just it was a lot of fun and everything uh, the whole cast in here were great and one of the reasons I went looking forward to it is because it was going to be all new characters and stuff and uh, I knew they added too many characters but the way they did it it worked um, and made sense why they did it and Everything, but you got the core main new members of the Suicide Squad, and they're all really likable and everything. Especially King Shark, he just steals a show. But also Ratcatcher Two is also really lovable too. I loved both of them, and uh, Bloodsport is really good as well. He he's pretty much the replacement for Will Smith's character Deadshot, but they're really similar, but they're not exactly the same if that makes sense. But I, I really liked him quite a bit. And uh, John Cena's Peacemaker was pretty good too, although I was a little underwhelmed with Peacemaker, uh, but uh, I loved all the characters in it. And Polka Dot Man, like, like, there was just something about Polka Dot Man. I absolutely loved him and everything. So yeah, it's a really entertaining movie, really great entry and everything in the DCU. Definitely one of the best and everything. So. The Suicide Squad is number four, and number three is Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice. Um, I absolutely love this movie. It's been one of my favorite superhero movies ever since it first came out, and everything. I've always loved this movie, and I uh, used to get in arguments all the time in Facebook groups and stuff over this movie because people love to hate on this one although it's it's kind of started to get a little bit of a cult following but uh, especially back when it first came out everybody was hating on it and everything but I think it's a really great movie that I like both versions the theatrical and the ultimate edition I usually just watch the ultimate edition because it's longer but uh, I love both of them and I think Lex Luthor was really well done in this movie everybody hates him in it uh, but I absolutely love Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor and the, the big final battle where they team up and stuff is a lot of fun and the Martha scene that everybody likes to make fun of which yes it's cheesy in a lot of ways but it's also really deep and thought provoking if you really think about why he's why Batman is has a change of heart and everything it's really good character development and it plays out, out really well in the next movie so uh, the Zack Snyder's version of Justice League so uh, I really love this movie and everything so Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice is number three and number two is Shazam uh, I really debated between which one I was gonna put at number one between this one and uh, what my number one is but the more and more I think about it, I think I have to put Shazam at number two. I absolutely love it though. It's a, a total blast from start to finish. It was one that, when it first came out, I I wasn't as excited for it. I wasn't like, 
it was one of those that I was I was gonna see it and stuff, but I I didn't know what to expect on it. And I just absolutely loved it. it. Has a lot of really fun moments. The humor in here works perfectly, and everything. Zachary Levi is amazing when he's uh, when he's Shazam and the uh, kid that plays him. Uh, is really great too, uh, and everything, and uh, just really, really fun movie. Uh, really underrated villain too. I think that, that the villain of this movie, even though I cannot remember his name either, I'm just really forgetting the names of these characters today for some reason. But I think the villain is really great and underrated, and I, I can't wait to see the next movie, Shazam: Fury of the Gods, and. Uh, when it gets out in a couple years, but I absolutely love this movie, and uh, it's easily one of the best movies in the DCU. And out of the standalone character movies, this one is easily my favorite out of those and everything. So Shazam is number two, and my number one favorite DCU movie is Zack Snyder's Justice League, or also known as the Snyder Cut. I I absolutely love this movie. It, it's just such a great movie in the fr franchise. Uh, every time I watch it, I absolutely love it. It has a great cast and everything, and I love what they did with the characters in this version and everything. Zack Snyder really knew what he was doing with this movie, and it sucks that Warner Brothers isn't going to continue on with it and how they've tried to bury this movie and stuff, and releasing it only on HBO Max. and. Uh, acting like they really don't care about this movie, but it, it's really, really great movie, and everything we got some redemption for certain characters like Jared Leto's version of the Joker. He's only in here for about five, ten minutes of screen time, but the the he was really effective in those few minutes and left me wanting more of him and everything. I'd love to see more of what they would have what. Zack Snyder would have done if he would have gotten to do the full trilogy and I absolutely love Justice League I think it's an amazing movie and a fitting ending to the, the trilogy he started with Man of Steel even though it left off where it, it could continue and stuff I, and I wish it would have um, I, I like what they did with it I think it, it worked and everything so yeah just Zack Snyder's Justice League is easily my favorite DCEU movie, but anyway, let me know in the comments how you would rank these movies. If you don't want to do your full ranking, tell me your favorite and least favorite DCEU movie, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.